welcome to my first ever write with me video oh wow saying that out loud makes me realize how nervous i am for this to post this video oh <laughs> I filmed this the other night while I was writing my flash fiction for the day, and for some context, in case you don't know, I'm doing a flash fiction challenge for NaNoWriMo. Instead of the 50k in a new novel, I'm working from a set of prompts that I came up with and writing a thousand word snippet based on that word. And part of this, to keep accountability, let's be honest, I've been forcing myself to post them to Instagram with a little mood board. If you want to see the other 10 that I've done, including this prompt that I'm writing, I've linked my Instagram below so you can go check it out. In addition to this, I thought it'd be an interesting video to actually show you my writing process. So, you know, you can see all my spelling errors, all my backspacing, and all my fiddling to make sure the sentences lay the way I want them to. They don't often do that. I know one of the criticisms of AuthorTube is that it's hard to know who to trust when it comes to writing advice. And look, I'm not here to be an advice channel. That's way too much pressure for little old me, okay? <laughs> and in my humble opinion, I think a lot of things can be learned just by doing. And some things are better learned by seeing them. Hopefully you can see my connection here. Anyway, since I can't actually show you my actual draft of the novels that I'm hoping to publish one day, this writing project seemed like the perfect opportunity to show you my writing low low stress low pressure hopefully we'll see what the comments are like on this video as you can maybe tell from my little side comments in my voiceover i'm a little nervous about doing this um exposing exposing how you write your first draft isn't for the faint of heart and just to be clear i don't show this to like brag or show off i hope that it doesn't come off like that or seem like i am i don't know my only hope is that perhaps it's either entertaining a la the voiceover how am i doing or maybe you learn something by watching the draft in mostly real time. I chose this prompt for two reasons. My first one is accessibility. Over the course of the prompts, I've written some dark stuff, and of course, I've included content warnings in each of those posts on Instagram. They'll be before the actual story, so you can decide if you wanna read it or not based on what is in the story itself. But since this is a video and I'm hoping that writers will maybe benefit from it, even if it's learning how not to do something, I don't wanna exclude writers by including potentially harmful and triggering material in my snippet. The story obviously does have a very minor mention of blood, the prompt is paper cut, and the mention of parental death, but not in a vivid detail. Again, I put these at the beginning of the video, so hopefully that's not bothering you. Essentially, I can't avoid unpleasant topics entirely, but I hope they're tame and small enough details to not turn off too many people. Second, I wanted to challenge myself, mm, challenges, and not rely on gory details and descriptions. I often think I hide behind my own love of horrific descriptions, and I wonder if I sometimes skip over like describing heart and soul feely things. You know, we're not gonna look into that psychologically, what that says about me, but in the end, this prompt ended up not perfect, obviously, and it is far from my favorite prompt that I've written this month, but obviously creativity comes and flows in waves and you can't have your best every single day. For context, if you'll indulge me for just a moment, this particular snippet is centered around a potential scene that could go at the end of the first book of the novel that I'm currently querying, The Wrath King, maybe even the second book, question mark? I don't know, who knows? Anyway, it's between two characters who have been in the story since its inception, and thanks to a particular critique partner, <coughs> Wally Simo, <coughs> they've become friends. Oh, so cute. And here is the 2A, if you will of why I chose these characters for this prompt and why it's a challenge. They are not romantically involved. Lucian is canonically ace and Resley is canonically queer, so their relationship is platonic for the most part. And um, how do I say this? How do I, how do I tactfully put this? I'm bad at not writing romances. I tend to rely on moments like this, you know, the patching the wound trope to create tenderness between love interests. So since I didn't want to convey that context, I had to work around my natural instinct to make it romantic because it is absolutely not romantic. I ref it's literally not romantic in any way. I don't know if I actually succeeded in this, but hey, <laughs> it's a first draft. <laughs> Ooh. 
Another aspect of this project is that I'm trying to find the joy in writing. If you've seen my last vlog, you'll know that I've been in a writing crisis. And since I hate puzzles, I have not been drafting because everything is like outlining stage. Ugh. Anyway, um, <laughs> I love drafting so much. Drafting is my favorite part of the process and I loathe editing. I loathe it. It's makes my heartburn worse. Um, anyway, so because of that, these pieces go through virtually no editing apart from my fixing of spelling and grammar errors. And even then, I know I don't catch them all. Not like Pokemon. Anyway, sorry, that was a bad joke. This is why I script all of my voiceovers. <laughs> So yeah, uh, this is genuinely first draft work. What you see here is almost identical to what is on Instagram. Is that comforting? Is that bragging? Is that bad? I, I don't even know, you tell me. And I know I've said this before, and I know all of you are gonna be like, we know, because I literally can't shut up about it. But I feel like I should say this as a caveat. I have been writing since I was eight or nine, and I started out on role-playing form, so I'm very adept at drafting clean. I kind of learned that that was my writing style for an embarrassingly long time. And in addition to that, I've had the fortune and privilege to study English and get an entire degree in it. But like I say all the time, I'm not perfect. No one is. And just because your prose is clean doesn't mean it needs shaping, trimming, often a lot of trimming if you're an overwriter like me, and development. Also, I did speed up this footage for the sake of you not being mindlessly bored and I wouldn't have to talk for 30 minutes, even though I very well could. However, I do have a video made that is just the writing of this if anyone would be interested in a real-time version without my hysterical yet rambling voiceover. Just let me know in the comments. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of the drafting process is the discovery of it. You can probably notice I start a lot of sentences and then mm, reverse and rework it and retype a lot. I think it's because my brain is trying to weave the best sentences it can come up with without losing the flow. The beginning is definitely rougher before I get into that flow, but once I get into it, it's pretty good. I tend to describe my drafting as like, I'm just relaying the events of the quote unquote movie in my head of the story that's unfolding. And I'm a pretty visual person. So that is how I tend to write. I'm very into having images that I then convey through words because I'm a terrible artist and I couldn't draw them. I wish I could draw, but I have to stick with the medium I know. This is generally just a great exercise. I think if you're looking to improve your prose when it comes to like describing scenes and you know, things that are happening within a scene and to do that during a movie, like an actual movie that you've Seen. It's definitely going to be easier with a film you've seen many times over, but you could probably do it with one you haven't seen. When you're watching a movie, just think about how you would write the scenes that are playing out before you and try to weave the story you see on screen with prose. I don't know if I explained that correctly. I might have to like make a better script for it and make a whole video about it, but I know it sounds weird, but maybe it'll work for you. You can just try it. It's what I do all of the time, mostly because I like to rewrite movies that I don't like the plot choices they make. Anyway, <laughs> not the point. Total, this prompt ended up being 894 words and took about 30 minutes to complete. Part of this process you see in the bottom right hand corner are many pulled faces at the camera, heavy sighs, and general displeasure at the lack of perfection that is in fact required for my drafting process. I'm glad no one has to watch me draft all of the time. So yeah, that's my drafting process in a nutshell. A lot of chaotic imagination and latching onto a singular image to build an entire scene around. I know I sound a little bit crazy when I'm talking about this, but you know, whatever, then we're writers together. Don't judge me. Let me know in the comments what your drafting process is like if you're more like me or if you're the type to kind of keep it messy and fix it all in editing. I hope you've enjoyed this look into my drafting brain. And if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up and maybe I'll make another one of these. Mm. Depends on, again, how the comments of this video are. Just kidding, I know you'll all be lovely. If you want any more of my rambling voice? My face isn't really in this video. Uh, anyway, <laughs> if you want more of me, you can subscribe. It's weird doing my outro over voiceover. I hope your NaNoWriMo is going well and you're doing great, even if you are just surviving the days. Happy writing, and I will see you next week. Bye! <laughs>